Swami and Nikki Haley both in the area today with just three days to go now until the South Carolina GOP primary. Ramaswamy was in Aiken. Haley was in North Augusta again. And Haley has continued to say she will not be dropping out of the race anytime soon. While Ramaswamy was here to gather support for former President Trump. Just last night, Trump said Ramaswamy and Senator Tim Scott are both potential running mates for him. Audrey Dick Herbert live for us here in the studio after being with the Ramaswamy campaign in Aiken. As the Republican campaign primary gets closer, candidates and their supporters are doing everything they can to secure votes by campaigning heavily in South Carolina before Saturday. And I think we need to make a difference. And you can't sit around straddling the fence. You either stand for something or you fall for anything. People waited in line, some for multiple hours, to see Vivek speak in support for Donald Trump's campaign. It's not a war between man and woman. It's not even a war really between traditional Democrat and Republican. It is deeper than that. It is a war between those of us who love the United States of America and our founding ideals and a fringe minority who hates this country and what we stand for. He spoke about issues like securing the border, reviving the American dream, national security, national identity and pride and more with confidence that Trump will beat Nikki Haley in this race. I think based on the results of the three primaries that have come before us and also the polling data that we have, that it looks like Donald Trump will have a fairly a large victory. It's around 30 points, maybe a little less than that. Vivek says he wants the victory to be an electoral victory that's historic. It's not that the electorate here does not like Nikki Haley. I think that she's, if it was running against any other candidate, she would be leading. But Donald Trump, not just in South Carolina, but throughout the country, has this, you know, this stronghold on the Republican Party base. And that's why he has been so successful in, in the primaries. And many people in South Carolina say they are ready for a change. When I come up, I never never was big about the left or the right, Republican, Democrat. I prayed about the person to vote for. And uh, so that's, that's usually what I try to do. And if a person has to be blind and not see, we need to make a change now. This weekend, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley will both be campaigning in South Carolina, trying to bring in as many votes as they can as voters head to the polls. Audrey, thanks for that. Meanwhile, Nikki.